Sending their best. All right, Gio. So the wheel of punishment. Oh, oh, what? headshot! Holy nice. From that primal, part? primal fear says angry men is back. Yes. Gio, the Wheel of Punishment said that I had to drop an incredibly shitty take about a TV or movie. So I have one that's going to piss you off. I will actually leave you to die to the zombie. I've, I've said it before, but uh, this is going to really piss you off. So this is my shitty take. Um, and I, I've mentioned this before, but I haven't mentioned it in depth or why. So it's going to really piss you off. Uh, Ermin Trout deserved it. Ermin Trout deserved it. <laughs> uh, like you remember what Nacho's dad says to him? He's like, because he's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna get justice for your son, and Nacho's dad is like, and Nacho's dad is like, nah, man, you just want revenge. You're just a criminal like the rest of them. And yeah, it's true. Like I, out of, <laughs> I get where you're coming from. Like out of but all, I can't let you do my boy like that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so anyways, out of all the people that deserved it in Breaking Bad, yeah, Ermin Trout maybe was one of the ones that deserved it the least, because yeah, he was like a nice guy, he had a code and everything, but like at the end of the day, he was just as much as a criminal as the rest of them. Like he literally is like Gus's kill man, you know. But Jesse had deserved it if he died. Uh, see that that is like a very difficult question. Because Jesse, and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Your opinion doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> but yeah, like Urban Trout with his skills, he could have been like a he could have been legit man. He could have been a private investigator. He could have been private military. Like he could have been a, a, like just a fucking you know high profile VIP security guard. And that way minute, he could. The minute I heard you say this is gonna piss you off, I knew it was gonna be better call saw. Like I fucking yeah. Knew it. And that That's way, like the one show I'll defend. Uh, four eyes, right, ten bites, th ten thank bits, you thank you so sir. much. You're and like, bro, and it's scholar. like, it's like, bro, uh, like he could have secured Kaylee's future. And dropping in during cleaning to give Sadman the cheers. Ah, thank you so much. He could have secured Kaylee's future, but instead he decided to justify the same justification that Walt does. Like, oh, I'm doing it for my family. And he just ended up fucking you know over his family. No, I, I respect that opinion. I do feel like that's what the writers are going for. Especially yeah. after his entire backstory with Maddie. Yeah. Yeah, like, especially, yeah. like, Maddie not wanting to be crooked and everything. Like, he just proves he's not above it all, you know? Like, even after all this time, even after yeah. the mistakes he's made, he still does the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, he Thinking just... that he's doing it better, but it's really not. Yeah. And... That's, yeah. Obviously, that's, like, a general theme across all of, like, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, right? But, like, I think it's especially true with Ermin Trout, and that's what makes his story even more sadder. Because, like, he left Kaylee, uh, like, he left his daughter. Or, I mean, like, oh, Maddie's I was going to ask you, yeah. since you finished the last la the, uh, Better Call Saul, right? What did you think of when he Better Call saul all over the prisoners at the end? <laughs> Dude, that was, like, some surrealist shit, bro. That was, like, some art house shit. Wake up! I loved it, honestly. I genuinely loved it. Mikaela, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. We're uh, we're we're about to start the boogaloo. We're just waiting for the zombies to pull up to the party. We've been waiting for the zombies for like seven hours now, but yeah. I genuinely think we should play Darker Darker after this because that game is so much fun. Yeah, we'll we'll play we'll play rounds of Darker Darker. I want to get my bard. Hello, Mikaela. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. I have a bunch of Bart stuff from my own Bart. I can let you borrow some. Beautiful. Yes. So, yeah, like, the... I, I just thought that was, like, some art house shit when they start, like, Better Call Sawling. I loved it. Like, it was kind it, of like a, a dream sequence, you know? 100%. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a little out of place, but I really like the goofiness of it, honestly. And... I've, I've, I gotta be honest with you, Even, as much as I hated Chuck, I do find it, yeah, kind of heartwarming that Jimmy decided to come through at the end for him. Yeah, I agree. It was, it was really nice. And I think, oh god, I think one of my favorite moments was, what was it, at the beginning of the last episode, where that little flashback with Chuck. Yeah. And you see him put down the time machine, the little book he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then after the, I watched the entire season, someone pointed out to me that when you get a look at Saul's mansion in the beginning of that season, yeah. you can see the same book in his like mansion. Crazy, dude. When you yeah, really I, just, I just love those little details, man. So Miguel funny. says, hope the 12-hour subathon is going well. It, it's going well. It's going well. We've uh, had a bit of a crazy time. Huh? Hey, we're more than halfway through. We're fine. 